Hello, this is photographer Jay Bird from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Today we're going to talk about enhancing your photos. Anytime that a model shoots with me or a client shoots with me, I like to grab a few of their best shots and try a little bit of enhancement to make them an even better product than they got when I originally shot them. If you're a model or you're a client who would like to come out and get some nice model quality photos done with me, feel free to contact me at jbirdphoto at outlook.com. That's jbirdphoto at outlook.com. We can set up a photo shoot. Now I do, I do do some free photo shoots as well. Uh, what I'll do with those is I try to get some great shots, some, some cutting edge shots to put into my portfolio. Uh, if we get some great shots like that, I'll be glad to do some exchange where we'll just do some free photo shoots and I'll give you a couple of the enhanced photos for that. If you'd like to go ahead and pay for your photo shoot and you just want a full set of all your pictures, uh, you can select your best pictures. I charge $10 an image. Very simple square price, simple $10 an image. So if you buy buy five it's 50 bucks you buy 10 it's 100 and so forth and so on it's a very simple process that covers location travel time everything so everything's in one big ball of wax you decide what your budget is and you pick the photos you want real simple just contact me and we'll we'll do it let's talk about this particular photo this was shot on the river it was a, a great shot I shoot a lot of the rivers around here in Chattanooga the Ochi River has some fantastic locations. Uh, there's several rivers that have some great locations and waterfalls in different areas. I like to shoot on location quite a bit. So let's talk about this photo. This young lady was shot underneath a bridge and shot with a flash feel. So the background itself is naturally lit, but she's lit by a flash. And we're going to show you a little bit how I can bring her out in this picture a little bit more. So the first thing I do is I go in and I grab my brush. And I've set this at negative four exposure. So when I paint with it, I'm actually going to be painting. Um, you're going to see that it's going to paint almost black. But what that does is it allows me to make sure that I get everything covered consistently all the way across to bring her out. I put a little bit of feather on it so that I don't have to worry too much about hitting the edges just perfect. And I'll go and I'll cover her completely. And it shouldn't take that long. Her arm's going to have to be done with a smaller brush. But we'll still get it on the same, uh, same sweep here. And she's all filled in. Let me change the size a little bit. Bring it down. And we'll get her arm and her hand. And... That looks like that. Okay, so we come over to the exposure, we take it back to zero. This is back to where it originally was, and what I'll do is I'll just bring it up a little bit until we got a natural increase where she comes out beyond the background. And that's a great shot right about there. That's up about oh point six of a stop. So now I want to go in and try and enhance the background a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll grab a shading tool. And I'll come in here and I'll shade a little bit from the side. Now you notice it's very dark. I set all my settings at the lowest setting in order to be able to just come back to where I want it. I go back to neutral and I will bring it down a little bit. That'll darken it up a little bit on that side. Create a frame. I create a new one. Come to the other side and because her hands there and her arms there I'm going to come in at an angle and we're going to go back to zero and then come back down just to darken it down just a bit. Go above her head. We always want the focus to be on the model or the subject itself. So we go through and we just bring that out. Go back to neutral. Come down ever so slightly. There we go. Now, I want to look at her face because her face is the most important focal point. So I'm going to grab a brush again. Before I do that, I want to uh, go in and enhance her face. There we go. And that's a little bit tight, so I'm going to back out again. Let's just do it with a, a small brush here. So I go in and just grab her face, and we'll grab that itself. We don't need to worry too much about the neckline because we don't want to bring out the neckline too much. I do want to bring out the hair some, so I'll grab some of the hair and enhance it as well. I 
because that's very nice and a little bit along the cleavage line because that's always a great spot to uh, brighten up just slightly and we go back and we bring the exposure back to neutral and we step it up just about 0.3 close that out now you'll see that her face is lit a little bit more than the rest of the picture so it gives you a little more intensity now we do want to go in much tighter because now we want to work on the eyes themselves so what I'll do is I'll grab another brush I'll reduce the size down very tight we'll go in and we're just gonna work on the whites of her eyes for now just enough to make sure we take out any red marks or any red lines and the eyes are so important in a picture that we want to make sure that we get the eyes to pop really well that's the central focal point of most people's uh, shots. So we'll color in the whites nice and dark. Okay. Now those are colored in. We bring it back to neutral where it was. And we'll bring it up just slightly. And we'll put it at maybe 0.2, 0.3. That'll bring out a lot of the red and take that out. I'm going to increase my, grab a new brush, increase the size a little bit. Then I'm going to go in and fill in the actual center of the eyes. And we'll grab both of them equally. Then we'll go back and bring that back to neutral because we've already enhanced it pretty well it looks pretty good let's bring it up just about 0.3 Let, let's increase the saturation slightly so we give a little more color to it and bring up the sharpness and clarity slightly to really bring those eyes out now we've got one little tiny spot here I see on her face what happens when you get a lot of oil or sweat building up on your face you'll get these little tiny white spots that show up in the camera so I'm gonna go ew, I don't want to touch the exposure sorry about that let's go grab a cloning tool here and we'll go in there and we'll take this little bright spot out There's a couple of them looks like she's got a little glitter on almost yeah the occupancy we need to increase it can see increase it so we get rid of those all together okay and then over here we've got a little bit of acne that we're going to clean up try to clean up some of those acne spots and that's looking pretty good we leave the natural, natural moles and various things. People like Cindy Crawford have a real trouble when you take out her mole because that's part of her character. So we don't want to take out too many moles and stuff, but we do want to clean up some acne and clean up the skin as well as we can. Now we can go even further. We can go all over the place and I can start to, to uh, soften the skin, do, do a number of different things like that. Soften the skin, enhance skin. But what you start doing is you start to create a situation where it really looks overly shopped. And we don't want to get too much into that. Now the bottom of the photo isn't much of our focus, so we're going to come in here. we got some shadows and some various things here. So we're going to come in a little bit, and we're going to just change the lighting a bit to darken some of that up. I don't want to do it too much, just enough to bring that focus back up to her face. Let's take it down about a one and a half stops. And that looks pretty good. That's a simple enhancement job. That's what I'm able to do for you. I'm going to show you a comparison side by side. Once again, my name's Jay Bird. If you're interested in shooting with me here in the Chattanooga area, my email address is jbird at outlook Dot com. I'm sorry, Jaybird Photo, Jaybird Photo at Outlook.com, Jaybird Photo at Outlook.com. Get in touch with me that way. I'll email you my phone number. 
We'll schedule you. We'll talk about some concepts that I'm trying to get into my portfolio. If you're willing to step up and do those, we may do some free shoots. If you uh, just want to get some shots done of you, your friends, your family, let me know. We will uh, we'll go ahead and schedule it at $10 an image. I have a simple flat price, no negotiation, no playing around. Uh, I'm as honest, straightforward, uh, shoot quick. We get good quality results. Uh, it's a lot of fun, easy. It's a, it's a great time. So look forward to hearing from you and uh, keep shooting.